Hi, this is Leo Seibold from the University of Colorado. I'm going to be demonstrating uh, the KDB Glide procedure uh, using the Oculus Surgical Gonio Ready hands-free Gonio Prism. And we'll demonstrate some of the unique features of the device, take you through a step-by-step -step use of it, and uh, give you a few pearls on how I'm using it to perform KDB uh, using two hands for the first time. So we'll get started here um, making our main incision. So after we make our main incision, we're going to fill with OVD. You know, for any angle procedure, you want to make sure you have a nice fill in the anterior chamber. If you're under fill, you're going to see a lot of stria. It's going to make visualization more difficult. If you leave a bubble behind, like I just did, that's going to make it more difficult. So we're going to get that out of the way. And then at this point, you're going to rotate the patient's head. So once you get the AC filled, you're going to rotate the patient's head about 30 degrees, 30 to 45 degrees away from you, and then rotate the scope about 30 to 45 degrees towards you. And then we're going to put a nice dollop of viscoelastic on the cornea. Um, and that's just going to be our coupling agent. And once we get zoomed in, we're going to adjust our scope here, get a good focus on that nasal iris. So if you get a nice focus on the nasal iris, once you put the gonio down, you're going to be pretty well, you're going to be pretty well in focus where you just have to do minor adjustments from there. If you don't do this, you may end up, you know, you're going to start off a little bit far and it's a little bit harder to, to get yourself back to, to the right focus. So now that we're pretty well in focus on that nasal iris, I'm going to zoom out. So we're going to decrease our magnification. We'll put a little more viscoelastic right on the cornea here. And then whatever instrument you're using, in this case, the KDB Glide, we're going to grab our instrument. And so what I like to do sometimes with this, since we have two hands, is you can use your second instrument just like you would during a FACO and put it through a paracetesis wound that can help stabilize the eye. We're going to go in through our main incision here. And once we get about halfway across to mid pupil, we're going to grab the blue handle, swing our gonio ready into position. And then with the blue dial, we're going to slowly dial this down onto the cornea until you get a nice seal of that viscoelastic. And you can see the view that we get which is pretty well in focus. Again, that, that par focalizing initially puts us in pretty good position. And then it's all with the foot pedal the rest of the way here. So make sure we have as good a focus as possible. See our KDB here. And so I'm not using my hand at all. Both hands are on the device I'm using. Both hands are on the KDB Glide. And I don't care, as, as experienced as you think you may be, having a second hand here to further stabilize the eye is really a nice feature um, with this, with this hands-free device. Um, whether you're going forehand, backhand, backhand especially I think is particularly difficult um, for a lot of surgeons, especially starting out. And so it's just a much more controlled procedure here when I have two hands on the device And you see how well of a seal it's keeping. So even though I'm moving the eye, I'm going to switch back to a forehand. It's keeping a nice seal of the lens on the gonio. Now, as I go to the side here, you also have the opportunity to swing the gonio to your left, just like you would with, with the Swan Jacobs lens. Uh, you, you can swing it to the left. There's actually two preset positions. So we're going to go a little bit more with the forehand here. And if we want to get a little bit further, I can go another click to the side. Now there we lost focus. That's okay. We'll just readjust. I'm going to, again, with the foot pedal, make sure we get a good seal back here. And then I'm going to continue extending this goniotomy incision.
And you also see the cutout of the lens here around the wound of the device, which is a really nice feature to prevent your instrument from displacing the lens. And if we wanna go all the way to the right, you can see how we can do that swinging it in this direction. So you still have that same wide field of view. You still have that freedom, but now I've got both hands on the device that I'm using um, at all times. And the other thing that you can get a little bit of extra range if you want a wider goniotomy, again, if you have a paracentesis wound, I can use a second instrument like a Sinsky and rotate the eye to the right or to the left to get even further treatment, um, which is just another, another great advantage. Um, and I think we'll continue to figure out ways to use our second hand as we get used to uh, having two hands on, on your device. So that's the Gonio ready. Thank you for listening.